Okay, we are looking at page Q25 in our daily grammar practice. The first one says, label the parts of speech of the underlined words. Who can tell me what is the subject of this sentence? Jason and I reluctantly helped my annoying sister with her science project. What is the subject of that sentence? Who is the sentence about? Penelope? Jason and I, there are two people. So that is our subject noun, is Jason. And then I is also, you could label it noun, but it's a more specific kind of noun. What is it? Mia? A subject pronoun. Okay. On the quiz on Friday, you do not have to have the S. You just need to know noun and pronoun, or really just noun. But I do want you to know that those are the subject of the sentence. So what about that word and? What about that word and? We should all know what that is. Brady? It's a conjunction, so we're gonna label it with a C. That is new, we have not labeled conjunctions in the past. Okay, what is our verb? What did Jason and I do? Kirsten? Helped, that's our verb. So what does that make reluctantly? Helped how? Reluctantly. What does that make reluctantly? Alex. That's an adverb. It's telling us more about the verb. How did they help? Reluctantly. We know that adverbs almost always end in L-Y. If you're just coming in, please make sure that you have this labeled correctly for the quiz on Friday. My annoying sister with her science project. Okay, do you see any other nouns in the sentence? Do we see any other nouns? Uh, sister. Sister is a noun, that's correct. What else is a noun? Project. Project is a noun, very good. So what kind of sister? Annoying. annoying. So what does that make annoying? Kirsten? Adjective. It's an adjective. What kind of project? Harper? Science. science. So what does that make science? An adjective. So you really have to look at how the word is being used in the sentence because science can also be a noun, but in this sentence, it's an adjective. Okay, if you are on your Chromebook doing Spelling City, you are being rude. So please shut your Chromebooks, move them out of the way, and you should be doing what I am doing. Now, what about this word, my? What do you think it is, Benny? No, what do you think it is? It's a pronoun, and it's specifically a possessive pronoun, but we don't need to label it possessive. Okay, remember that you can go into your grammar sheets in your binder, and pronouns are listed. Okay, so when you have these little words that you're not for sure what they are, they're listed here. Go look at that sheet. You can even use these sheets on your quiz. Okay, so there's no reason to get these wrong. Fix the sentence. Is it a fragment or a run-on? She loves her new video game. It is so much fun. Is that a fragment or a run-on? What's that? Liam? It's a run-on. How can we fix it? I really like for us as fourth graders, instead of making two simple sentences, I like to stretch and make one big sentence. What can I put there to make that a complete sentence? Amanda? Because. The word because there makes that a complex sentence. It doesn't need a comma because we're not using and or but so yet, a coordinating conjunction. We're using a, I think it's a subordinate conjunction. I'd have to double check on my sheet here, but we're not using a coordinating conjunction, so we don't need a comma. She loves her new video game because it is so much fun. Remember we use commas if we combine them with and or but so yet, right? Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Circle the part of speech for the word shame. Where do you see the parts of speech? Tell me how they're written. How can we pull them out of that box? Quentin. 
Yeah, and they're italicized. That's called italics when we write them slanted. Okay, so we our parts of speech are italicized. Is the underlined verb progressive past, present, or future tense? Before you answer that question, tell me the two things that every progressive verb tense needs. What is something that every progressive verb tense needs? Connor? A helping verb and an ing. A helping verb and an ing. So this one says they will be marching in the parade. What kind of what kind of progressive verb tense is that, Andrew? It's future. Which is correct. These are those tricky adjectives. We drove down a blank, blank, blank road. Who knows the order? Sophie. Very good. And it actually gave you two choices. We drove down a long, winding country road or a, we drove down a winding country long road. Well, the second one just sounds better. Don't forget though that you can refer to your adjective, ordering adjectives sheet in your blue binder to help you. If pro means forward, what does proceed mean? To proceed. It's kind of funny when Jonah was little, that song Red Solo Cup was popular. Do you guys know that song? Yeah. Red solo cup, I lift you up. And then they always say, proceed to party. Have you heard that? Anyway, it's a funny song, and he would always say, what does proceed mean? What does proceed mean? Go forward. Okay, if you're going to proceed with something, you're going to go ahead and do it. So in that song, it says proceed to party. It means let's go ahead and have our party. Okay? Um. I, when I fill out a technology work order, I click a link and it says, click this link to proceed. That means click the link to move forward. Which dialogue is punctuated correctly? Dylan asked, have you read any Harry Potter books? Or Dylan asked, have you read any Harry Potter books? The difference is here. Does the question mark go before the parentheses or after the parentheses? I'm not parentheses, quotation mark. Before the quotation mark or after the quotation mark? Benny. After. That's not what you circled on your paper. No, it goes before. It's question mark. I think you misunderstood what I said. It's question mark, then quotation. So make sure you have that. The punctuation goes inside. The end punctuation goes inside the quotation mark. Okay, and I apologize. We did not have time to get to our spelling. We will do that after reading. But let's go ahead and move to block two. Yes, ma'am. Maybe, Maybe I could play that song for you. Oh. 